do is make a couple of rows of, uh, uh, pardon me. So I've got my power and ground, because obviously I don't have a printed circuit board. Oops, there we go. I should probably get that other arm on here. Because I'm getting a little bit more movement than I'd like. side. Now I should state that I'm not an expert electronics guy by any means. Um, I'm just doing things as I uh, as I can uh, figure them out. So this is based on a circuit diagram I found online. I can't remember from where. <clears throat> so what I've done, as you can see, I've done these rows, but now I got to connect them, which is a bit difficult because the flux uh, makes things flow. So you kind of got to give her a quick dab. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sorry for the lack of commentary. So anyway, let's see what I'm doing. I'm connecting, trying to connect these. There we go. And it's not always pretty. Like this one's flowing a lot because I've got a lot of flux on here. Clean the tip there and see if that makes a difference. Yep, seems to. Hope I don't run out of solder, because then I'm screwed till next week. All right, so it's not pretty, but uh, as you can see here, we've got. Nice row and nice row. So we're going to start component installation, which is basically going to be a uh, pardon me, sorry for that. Uh, start, you know, wiring this up. Now this is a bit of a mess right now, so uh, I'm going to start putting the pieces together. So I have aligned this. This little notch here indicates, well, I guess the front side, whatever. So this is pin one, two, three, four, etc., etc., etc. So, the first thing we're going to do is run a wire from pin 1 to ground. So, there we go, we got our wire from pin 1 to ground, <clears throat> and that needs to be soldered. Now, I did pre-tin these, so I don't actually have a lot of work to do. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go, just like that. So next up I'm installing my capacitor, which is a 220 uh, UF. Now I've done it like this, so I've got some uh, room to bend it over, because it's going to be a tight fit in there, so this will have to be bent one way or the other. And there we go, that guy's in. We're just going to uh, clip it a little bit. And there we go. All right, and next, uh, pardon me, as you can see, I've run a wire from pin two 
to the other side of the capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and uh, solder those in. Second there, sort my hands in the way. And there we go, those are connected. I need to do a little snip here. Uh, next up, we're skipping ahead. We're actually going from pin six to the other side of that line. And next up, we're going to install an 8.2 ohm, pardon me, 8.25 kilo ohm, excuse me, resistor in that same line. pin 7 to the other side of the resistor, then another resistor goes here to power. And on this line, the last item is a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor. And we'll just trim those. And there. That line's set up. We're almost ready. Well, halfway there. So pin 8 is this orange line and it'll be run to the power line. There we go. So I skipped ahead a little bit. Uh, pin 3, this orange and white wire is going to be our output, and pin 4 goes to power. Now that takes care of pin 4. Almost, there we go. And there's the output side of pin 3. Now all that's left is a 220 ohm resistor, a LED, and some power. Now there's the 220 ohm. You see, it'll be connected to our pin 3 output line. In just a moment. I'm going to make sure these guys don't connect. Just snip that extra off. Same over here. Alright, so there's one change I made, and that was actually running a line to the LED because I need to run this up into the main body so I can connect the uh, fiber optics. So, let me connect some power and this will either work or be a huge embarrassing failure.
And there we have it. Flashing LED. Now this is a UV bulb, but I've actually got to put the correct one on it, but uh, I always like to test with something that I don't really use a lot. So there we go. And this guy is ready to be put into the uh, put into the station.